Hi planners, thanks so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans. And in this video, I'm going to be organizing and doing a little bit of a haul for my brand new Planner Kate stickers. And y'all know that I love Planner Kate. I am an affiliate with her, but I also really enjoy using her stickers in my planners. And so I can't wait to get into the new stickers that I have from her and to show you more. So let's not waste any time and get right into this video. Vendetta. give me a thumbs up if you haven't already to let YouTube know that you enjoy my content so that YouTube knows to promote my videos to other viewers. So give me a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. To my new viewers, welcome to my channel. To my True Blue subscribers, welcome back. So I got my recent order from Planner Kate and I just had to share it with you all. So I am going to go ahead and do a quick little haul and share what, what I got. And then I'm gonna organize the stickers and just kind of show you my process with that so i went ahead and grabbed a seven by nine monthly sheet this one is for june obviously and i'm looking forward to using this in my seven by nine erin condren vertical planner so i have that sheet then i went ahead and got a kit and this one it has cute little bees on it and little plants i thought the color scheme was really cute and i'm gonna try this out in my a5 daily duo i do have an a5 daily duo that's coiled as well and so i really had that in mind when i grabbed these because i really want to use these stickers in that planner so spoiler alert i will be using a coiled a5 daily duo for the july start and so i'm trying to decide do i want to start it in june or july but either way i have these stickers that i can use in that spread Next up, I got this rainbow like kit and I'm going to show you why. I mean, one, it's just a really cute kit, but two, I did go ahead and get a similar kit from Go Wild. And so I'm going to show you how they match. Um, it's one of the pages or one of the parts of the kit that I got from Go Wild. And so this has like the washi strips on it. This has some boxes. And so I can't wait to use these in my vertical planner as well. And then of course, Planner Kate always gives an abundance of really cute freebies. So these are the freebies I got. And I'm gonna show you how I organize these as well. I really do enjoy using these freebies. So I'm gonna show you how I keep them nice and neat so I can use them. And my method of how I organize them also allows me to be able to keep duplicates. So there's that. If you are interested in any of these stickers, I do also have a link in the description below with my link for planner kate and i have a coupon code so you want to check out my link in the description below click that to shop and then also use my coupon code to save and so this is for the erin condor vertical as well and this goes with this kit it just got separated so they go together and then i have these stickers with words on them this one says clean your car because that's something i want to keep up with this one has happy mail. I'm always getting some happy mail, so I thought that would be cute. This one has staff meeting, and I'm always writing staff me meeting in my planner, so definitely will use these. This one says bestie date, which is always so cute and motivating for me to, you know, go on some cute little outings with my besties this, this season and this summer. And then I have purge closet, which is always needed in my home. So I thought these were really cute. I am always buying planner cake stickers. Um, shame, I'm not have no shame in my game. I'm always buying her stickers. So I did get some albums from her and this is one of the albums. So in here, I have these um, sticker sheets, if you will. And so these help me organize this binder. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these stickers to here. I think I wanna go ahead and put the vertical kit. It's kind of hard because truly, um, I have two sticker books and I could put this stuff in either one of them. So it is kind of hard sometimes for me to decide, you know, which one should I use this for? I do have some new sheets here. I got these sheets on Amazon and they fit pretty well. So I'm going to use the sheets to organize them. And then I'm going to go ahead and, you know, get it together. So what I think I want to do now, and this is something that I wasn't sure about before. I think I want to put all the words that I have in the Planner Kate album. And then I want to keep all the kits in the binder. That's what I think my setup is going to be. This album is pretty much full, okay? So what I think I'm going to do is start a new one. Um, 
and put the words in here and put my kits in this one. So that's the plan. So first step, I'm gonna go ahead and separate them into piles. I'm gonna keep my words together because they're already in here and together. And I'm gonna move around like this sticker sheet here. That's gonna come out because I wanna put that with my other boxes and things like that. But I think that's pretty much it in here. All the rest of the words are already in here and scripts. And so now I'm going to take these kits and put them together. And then I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put it together like this and put it in the sleeve because that's gonna make it easier for me to add it to this booklet or to this binder, I should say. So, the thing about this is, you know, when you have these stickers that you spend time picking out and you really like, you really wanna keep them nice and neat because that is going to preserve them and keep them nice for your planner. So you do wanna make sure that you're keeping everything nice and neat. And so I'm gonna put these in the back of here. I got one. And then next kit is this one. I'm gonna keep this one together as well. Put it in here. And we have the June kit. I'm gonna leave the kit by itself because I do think I'm actually gonna purchase another kit. I thought I had more than one June kit, but I don't. So I may go ahead and purchase another June kit. And Planner Kate has a new compact vertical or vertical compact kit for the new Erin Condren vertical compact planner. I think I'm gonna go have to go ahead and grab that. If nothing else, just to review it, to show you all you know what the kit is like in case any of you are getting that layout and you're interested in getting stickers for it um christy and designs also is going to have that kit and so i'll probably grab both just to show you all what options you may have for that layout i have more sheets i'm going to go ahead and put these in here too actually so that i can keep some in I usually keep them separate, but I'm gonna put these in here so I can have them handy. And so now I have my kits readily available to me inside of this binder. It's kind of a small binder, but it's it's got a lot of space in it. So I'm gonna co cover this. So now that this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and add the smaller sheets to the smaller album. As you can see, it's significantly smaller but these fit perfectly in here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add these. And I usually just put them, you know, front to back like that. And they slide right inside. And that is how they stay in there. The cool thing is that I got these on Warehouse Wednesday. And so each Wednesday, Planner Kate usually has some kind of sale. And so if you're watching this and it's Wednesday or it's Tuesday, set your alarm for Wednesday um, because they do usually have a sale and you can save um, with the sale and then you can use my coupon code on top of it. So if you wanna save on your stickers, definitely try that out. And now I have my sampler sticker book, which is super cute and easy to fill up. So I'm gonna go ahead and first I look for any duplicates I might have because if I have duplicates, I like to put them in the same pocket. So for example, I know I have this sticker um, sampler somewhere in the front. So I'm gonna take this right here and put it inside of there. So as you can see, now they're in there together. And that way I can just keep track of them all in one spot and I have some missing slots. So where I have like empty slots, I go ahead and add some kind of similar sticker. Let's see if I already have one like this though. I don't think so. 
Oh, I do. Okay. So there's already one like it here. So I'm just going to add that one. There is also one like this one. I just saw it right there. So I'm going to add it there. And I probably could like really organize these by category as well. Like all these are lettering for the most part on this side, but I just haven't had the time. Even now, I don't really have the time to sit here and make sure that they are exactly the same. So that's a project for another day for sure. As of now, I don't mind flipping through. I actually find it kind of um, soothing <laughs> to flip through these. Um, so it's not really bothering me now but eventually i probably would like to go ahead and separate these a little bit better so that when i'm looking for a specific kind of sticker they're all kind of in the same spot and i remember this being up here so i'm just gonna put it in the middle or this is fine too and we have more scripts put that there so as you can see, now I have them all in one spot. I love that they're all in one area and that I can find them easily and I'm not losing them because they are really cute stickers and I do use them. I like to use them in my planner spreads and I don't wanna you know, lose track of them. So that is how I keep track of my different sticker sheets. As you can see, I have some cute ones from May. So I will be doing a video showing my may stickers maybe on instagram because it is we're getting into may now so i might just make that some instagram content so make sure you follow me on instagram to see that but i really appreciate you all for watching this video thank you so much for tuning in and check out planner kate with the link in my description below you can also save with the code on the screen so make sure you go ahead and check that website out and i will see you all in the next video